Good morning, Aries, and welcome to another reading with me. First thing in the morning, okay? <laughs> How are you guys? How you doing? Okay. No announcements. If there's anything, it'll be at the end of the video. All right, Aries? So let's go ahead and see what's going on in your life today. Oh. You guys, I'm in the middle of drinking my coffee. Do you like aromatherapy? That's a little aromatherapy thing I'm using. It's got like lemongrass and peppermint, a couple other things in there. Sometimes I like to use it. Not all the time, but I like it. Need that freshness. Mm. Did you guys sleep good? I sleep good. I slept all right. All right, let's stretch a bit and then get into this. Okay, you'll have to excuse me. My computer in my head is booting up. <laughs> my brain is booting. Mm. I'm supposed to get a tooth pulled today. It's one of my wisdom teeth, but uh, I might actually cancel it because I've got too many readings. <laughs> so I might do it another day. I don't know if I feel like, and I don't have anybody to drive me back. So I don't know if they're going to put me under or something like that. Yes, I am single. So it's kind of like I have to, I have to take care of it myself. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. All right, Aries. Hmm. What is going on in the world of Aries today? Beautiful, beautiful Aries. Cards are waking up like me. You... You want to come out. Ooh, three of cups. Okay, some celebration, something going on. Maybe you're reuniting with friends or you're spending time with family, festivities. Uh, maybe you're wanting to reconnect with someone. Okay. Mm. Lovers. Oh my goodness, Aries. <laughs> you know, yesterday on my Pisces video, someone commented, I, I can't remember the name of the user, and they were like, why do all tarot readers only focus on love? Well, sometimes, you know, sometimes <laughs> it just happens. Some, you know, a lot of people in the collective, they're obsessed with getting information about their love life, and I don't blame them, you know, but... um. Okay, Aries, so you're either reuniting with someone or there's, there is some, something going on. It's, it's romantic. Okay, this is romantic for you. Oh, boy. Okay, we've got Empress in reverse. Um, Aries, <laughs> could be an Earth sign that you're reuniting with or someone who has that in their chart, especially in Venus, I'm hearing. Um, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, uh, wow, possible reuniting or even just meeting this person. For some of you, you're literally just meeting this person. Some of you, I feel, are really in a state of connecting with, with nature. Heck, I've been doing this myself. Connecting with nature and maybe you're taking part in a lot of self-care, giving yourself the space that you need here with the Empress to create your own future. Maybe you're feeling a bit vulnerable. I heard that some of you are feeling vulnerable right now and I'm not surprised, okay? Uh, Mars is in retrograde, but maybe a lot of you are thinking about someone, about love. I'm really getting an energy here of either a new relationship coming together or an old one. It could also be some of you are really just enjoying yourself and the relationship that you're currently in, okay? And you want to feel nurtured. You want to feel like the person you're with gets you, okay? Mm -hmm. You've got a real earthy vibe going on right now, Aries, a real earthy vibe, and I like it. Because it's like you're connecting with yourself. You're connecting with who you truly are. Okay? So let's go ahead and start getting into clarity. Oof. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Thank you, Sora. I get a really light energy in this reading. I do. If you're feeling ungrounded, if you are here with the Empress in Reverse, or you don't feel creative, or you don't feel like... 
um, nurtured in your relationship, maybe it's a good time to take a step into allowing yourself the space to do that. Okay. Wow. Lover's card again. Aries. Okay. <laughs> Something, uh, I don't know if you saw my Pisces reading yesterday, if or if you're a cross watcher, if you have Pisces in your chart and you watch Pisces readings, um, there was a new love coming in. Okay. This could be sort of similar. Somebody's getting something new. Okay. Uh, with this, you're just like, dr I don't know. I'm just hearing drowning in their eyes, drowning in their eyes, drowning in love. Um, well, I wonder if you've actually met this person yet. I, I need to know more, a little bit more with the cards here, but <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay, more. Ten of Wands in reverse, the end of a stressful cycle. Okay, something is coming to an end that was overburdening you, and now you're feeling even self-love. Okay, a lot of love especially with the Empress energy here in your reading, even though it's in the reverse, okay? You're feeling that. You're feeling that connection and you're letting go of all the things that have been overburdening you and just enjoying life. Okay, we've got four wands in reverse. Uh, I feel as though you have released burdens around perhaps your foundation, your home life, something that you built up, okay? I feel that maybe whatever it was that you built up, you you found out, you know, you did some inner work or you, you've been talking with yourself. You've been basically saying this, this isn't what I really want. Okay. All of the burdens of the life that you built, you are now releasing and taking on something new with this lover's energy and, and going to go within, going to go within and love yourself. And if you do this, you will attract to you what it is that you're looking for but we don't realize it that when you stop actually looking is when that appears okay so i think that this is what's happening you're releasing your original foundation that you had uh, built around relationships that overburdened you and now you're going to allow yourself to love more authentically okay tell me about the lover's card tell me about the lover's card this is such a beautiful reading aries you should really watch the pisces one if you have pisces in your chart okay we got four of swords in reverse hmm some of you may be having a hard time uh relaxing you may be stressed out by all these burdens you're releasing or you may even be stressed out about th this love okay we'll find out more seven of swords <laughs> oh my god, Aries, wait till I tell you this. I want to make sure I get all three before I start uh, clarifying. We have Justice. This card also came up in the Pisces reading. You may know a Pisces or you are connecting with one. Okay, this is, this is kind of crazy. Um, I feel you have dealt with a lot of sneaky crap, okay, Aries? A lot of sneaky crap in the past. Someone who was a liar. Someone who maybe even cheated. Or somebody who just wasn't... You guys were not on the same page, okay? And this may have kept you from connecting with your internal core, your essence. And until you were able to actually reconnect with your essence, okay? Justice came into this situation. I feel that... Now hear me out, Aries. Some of you were in this relationship or you were in a situation uh, with, with a person that you loved a lot, okay? But you had to let them go in love. And the universe had to balance the situation out to bring in a new choice for you because whatever is happening... Okay, if we get two of cups, we'll know for sure you're getting some kind of 
a soul, soul tie or a blessing. Something is coming in specifically for you to focus on that energy, to learn more lessons. I feel you have learned a lot of lessons with this past person that I'm thinking about right, near, right now when I look at this uh, Seven of Swords card. You've learned a lot of lessons, okay? And the being in that relationship was disconnecting you from your authentic self here with the Empress, from feeling grounded. And so the universe had to step in here, Libra energy, right? With justice, okay? And basically, boom, things started picking up. And I feel as though it pushed out what was needed to be pushed out, okay? You were ungrounded with this, uh, with this person in the Empress energy as well, okay? There's always more than one interpretation of a card when you're doing a reading. You may notice in my readings that I, everything, it's like a tree, right? It's funny because the Empress has a tree here in this card. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Um, when we read cards, it's like a tree, okay? There are, it's not just always so cut and dry. The messages are more than just, you know, this is justice. You know, why is justice here? We take that into consideration. Why is the lover's card here twice? Why is it aligning with this? You know, it's like branches of a tree, right? Everything has a connection. Everything is connected. So each message is connected. If you can utilize the cards in that way, if you examine them enough, right? Okay. So tell me more about, uh, the Empress energy and justice. It was keeping you disconnected from yourself, the, the relationship you were in before. Okay. Or heck, some of you I hear are just now coming out of disconnect with yourself and now you're reconnecting. Okay. We've got queen of pentacles. Mm. Taking care of business. Aries, taking care of yourself. Remain. Some of you are really grounded right now. Mm, but we got two pentacles in reverse. And eight of swords. Okay, so you're, you are taking on a lot right now. All right, Aries. So what I am thinking here is you are, you're doing well here with this uh, Queen of Pentacles energy, Earth energy. You're doing very well. You're focusing on grounding yourself, but at the same time, it's, there's, is there two cards here? No. Okay. At the same time, it's as though, I don't want to say you can't make a choice. It's more like, it's not confusion. It's, what's the energy? You have too many options when it comes to your career right now. So what's happening is you're trying to make the space. Heck, I hear some of you, you'll, you'll like lay up at night. Okay. Um, you're trying to have, you're trying to make the space to, to think about new love, but I think you're having a bit of conflict here between your material and your mental. And what's happening is, why am I so drawn to the swords this time in this card? Rationale. You're thinking so, you're being very rational, Aries. Even though you're grounded, you're being rational. I feel like maybe your thoughts, not you, your thoughts. Yes, your thoughts are very rational. And so it's keeping, it's probably, this is probably why the Empress is in reverse here. Your thoughts are so rational and analytical, okay? And you're focused on all your priorities and taking care of yourself and taking care of business that you may be blocking your heart center just a little bit, okay? All right, so let's go a little bit more deeper. And then we'll pull some Oracle cards for you. How is my Aries fam, by the way? <laughs> I don't know if I asked that. How are you? Oh, I get such good vibes right now. Feeling good. You know, I'm not one of those like good vibes only people. That's not real. Okay. That's just, I'm not like that. Okay. But I'm getting good vibes right now. <laughs> Could be this reading. More. 
Okay, what do we have here? We have Four of Wands and Knight of Cups. Holy schmoly. More. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, this is very similar almost to my Pisces reading. Um, sorry I keep bringing that up. I know you're not a Pisces, but it's very similar. Okay, so something new is coming in, okay? We got four of wands originally in the reverse here in this energy, but this is, this is somebody else's energy. Knight of Cups here. Could be a water sign, okay? This is someone coming in and offering you something in love. All right. And it's going to be beautiful here with the three of cups. You're going to have fun with this person. You're going to understand them. They're going to understand you. And um, this person can offer you stability. Okay. They, they, may, they may want stability and a family and a foundation and something solid with you, whoever this person is that's coming in. I don't want to give you high hopes and say, hey, you know, Aries, go get lazy. There's somebody coming in with lots of money. No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> that's not what I mean at all what I mean is fulfillment and stability okay this is a stable relationship stable and a beautiful this is a connection that could last all right Aries so when this person possible water sign comes in be careful <laughs> <laughs> don't scare them away because it's it's a possibility that you might <laughs> where Aries you know they can be pretty intense all right so let's go ahead and look a little bit more I'm not saying that they're going to be weak but a knight of cups is you know it's not a king of cups or anything we've got chariot okay in the reverse then we have two of wands wow all these cards coming out and eight of pentacles in the reverse so I feel like someone is planning here. They haven't started moving towards you yet, or you haven't started moving towards them. You haven't started uh, approaching the relationship yet. Um, it's not quite ready to, to be. We got eight of pentacles in reverse. There may be something that you're still working on internally here, especially with this empress in reverse energy that you need to nurture within your heart before you connect. But I feel that you or this person there there's uh, one of you knows that there's a future here you may know this person and if you don't they know you and if neither of you know each other this is something coming in the future that is going to um balance out your your lessons in life okay aries yeah but i think there's still something you're doing i think it might be this energy over here this that you're working on um, some of you may need to release your thoughts and see things in a different way. I just keep getting the feeling that the eyes, um, you're, you've looked in their eyes. Okay. Like, you know, by a picture, uh, you, uh, we got six of swords in reverse. Yeah. There's something you're still working on. Okay. Hmm. Two of pentacles in reverse. Double confirmation here of your thoughts burdening you and too many things. Perhaps you're juggling your thoughts. Yes. You're juggling your thoughts way too much. You may be going back and forth about this person as well. Unsure if they are what you think. Oh my goodness. Ten of cups. And four swords. Okay, four swords twice here in the reading. All right, Aries, you need to rest. You need to rest, okay? Because we got a Ten of Cups situation. The end, it's over. This relationship is a wish, okay? It is It is a wish, but you need to rest. Also, I hear some of you may be thinking or dreaming, uh, thinking about your happiness, thinking about getting a wish, but you are a little overburdened and there's something you're still letting go of that's kind of causing you a bit of a mental conflict, okay? And whatever that is, it could be the past person that you dealt with here with the Seven of Swords, someone who was tricky as fuck, okay? They knew what they were doing. I just, I just wanted to tell you that, Aries. That person knew what they were doing, okay? They knew. 
All right, so let's get you some Oracle cards. Wow, future two, lovers twice. We got justice on the board. We've got 10 of pentacles. We've got 10 of cups. Okay, this is lovers twice, three of cups. I, Aries, you can't get any better. I'm sorry, honey, but you just can't. So let's pull you two of these. <laughs> what advice do we have? We have two of these. Prosperity lies ahead. Ten of pentacles, ten of cups. Some of you are getting your ending. Do you know what I mean? At least for this cycle. <laughs> for years to come. Some of you are getting what you've always... You've come to a completion. A completion. Released uh, energies. You've released karmic energies, so to speak. <laughs> karmic I don't know how, what I think of that word but prosperity lies ahead okay money stability and then we got be bold and make the first move <laughs> Aries has no problem making the first move so men, when this person comes to you with your knight of cups saying um Aries I can't stop thinking about you um or you tell them don't be afraid to do it okay don't be afraid because this is this is beautiful. All right, let's get you a lover's oracle. Ooh. We got my beloved. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time and nothing is missing. This is a true love connection. I want to pull one more for you. One more for Aries, please. Ooh. Imagine all unwanted. Wow. Okay. This is, this is the mental prison. Okay. The mental prison card. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. Yeah. Some of you really got something you're clearing up, you know, in your headspace. And as soon as you get that cleared up, I feel in comes your Ten of Cups. In comes the possibility of this. In comes attracting this to you, to this, to, to your life. Okay? All right, Aries, that was your reading. If you're wanting to book a personal with me, you can see down in the description box below all the details you need for Fiverr. And also email if you prefer that. And I look forward to doing your reading again. Take care of yourself, Aries. Bye.